Stacy, benvenuti. Nella cucina di Stacy. So guys, on today's episode of Stacy's Kitchen, I will be making my take on chicken Alfredo. So stay tuned for this. Alright guys, so I'm going to start with my pasta. We're going to boil the pasta and also we're going to do the chicken. The sauce is going to be done last. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so we're going to bring our water to a boil. I'm going to add just a pinch of salt. And I already have my pasta out of the pack. So I'm going to just put this into the pot. Alright, so this should take about 15 minutes or less, but we just give it enough time because this, um, the linguine pasta actually has a, a bit more, um, I would say, tough texture. Alright, so I'm just going to give this a stir and we're going to leave this to boil. I'm also going to add a bit of oil. Now you can use um, any oil of your choice. I'm using coconut oil today. So I have my salt in the water and I added a bit of coconut oil. So this is roughly one pack of uh, linguine pasta. And so just to, well, I wouldn't say speed things up a bit, but if you want to use two burners um, at one time, depending on your time limit for cooking. And this is such a lovely dinner for at least three people. All right, so I'm, I have another pot heated here. So I'm going to add a little bit of, let's say two tablespoons of coconut oil to heat. So I'm getting some nice bubbles there on my pasta. I'm just chopping a bit of garlic for that oil for the chicken. So I have my chicken shredded already. I am going to add a bit of salt to that. And I'm also going to put some of my homemade ground seasoning. And I'm also going to use some of this basil for that lovely Italian flavor. And I'm going to add some chili powder as well. And I love using these Chattak products. They are so nice. They blend in well with everything. Thank you so much, Chattak. All right, so I'm just going to give this a stir. Let me make some more room here. So I'm going to give this a stir. I can take my sives out of here. Well, I'm, I'm actually just going to chip this up in, in it. <clears throat> Always good to have some fresh chives and basil around the house, which I do. I'm going to add two leaves of fresh basil as well. All right, now to my heated oil, I'm just going to add a couple of pieces of this garlic that I, added, that I was chopping up here. Just to flavor the oil a bit. Now, if you have flavored oils, you can use that already. Oh, that smells so lovely. So I'm going to give my pasta a little stir, mainly because you don't want it to stick together. If you're using two pots at one time like me, just be careful the water falls into the oil because you can get burnt. Just 
just this garlic and this coconut oil smells like an Italian restaurant already. But guys, you don't have to use olive oil in everything Italian that you're making. Um, it's a bit expensive here, so you know, we can move to suit. So you flavor your oil so you get that, um, that nice Italian smell. I'm also going to add a little bit of this um, dried basil to the oil. So we're going to give that a stir. Alright, so our garlic is looking really nice and brown. I'm going to toss this about a little bit. And I'm going to add the chicken in there shortly. So I'm using a thong so that it could separate the pasta properly. So the texture we're looking for is what they call al dente. So you don't want it too tough and you don't want it too soft. It's usually eight minutes, but I notice with this type of pasta, it takes a little longer. All right, so I'm gonna start adding my chicken pieces. You can also grill them, but I'm basically just gonna stir fry it a bit. So guys, don't forget to try the recipes. Um, the WhatsApp number for ACTN is 393-ACTN. Um, try the recipes and give me your feedback. Thank you. And just remember, every Monday at 6.30 p.m., new episodes of Stacey's Kitchen will be aired. New and exciting episodes. As you can see, I'm practicing my foreign languages. If you think I'm stirring this pasta too much, it's because I don't want it to stick together. So when I strain this out, everything will be nice and smooth and flowy. Our chicken smells so amazing already. So what I used today was the chicken breast. So it cooks really, really quick. Um, I would say about 10 to 15 minutes at the most. Or even less. We could work with 8 to 12 minutes. Our pasta is coming along really, really nice. Smells so amazing in here. All the flavors are coming together really nicely. And just for a little extra flavor in the pasta, I'm gonna add some chopped garlic. So I'm just going to leave both these things for, well, the pasta, I would say about six to seven minutes again, and the chicken is almost ready.
Welcome to the Chatak's Kitchen, where it's tastier and spicier. For even more taste, cook with Chatak's Amchar Masala, Saffron, Ground Jeera and Black Pepper. Mix in Chatak's mild, spicy Omadras curry. Get a boost of excitement with a mango Amchar, Homsa Day and mango Kuchila, lime and pepper chunks, West Indian hot sauce and lime pepper sauce. Plus, Chatak's tamarind and mango chutneys are perfect with kalori and sahina. So make your kitchen a Chatak kitchen. Chatak's fruit products. Products, bringing good taste to life. All right, so. Our chicken is done. I'm going to turn this off and our pasta is ready to be strained. So as I said, guys, al dente is the word. So you want a bite, a bit of a bite. So it must have a little bit of texture in it, right? So that's good there. Let me turn this off and I'm going to strain this now. All right, so I'm gonna do the sauce for our Alfredo. So I'm gonna put my butter to melt in this heated pan. So I'm going to start with a little bit of um, flour adding to that butter. So it's basically called a roux. Alright, so see how cute that looks there? Eh? Smells amazing. So I'm going to add a little more. So we're basically going to put about four tablespoons of flour to this melted butter. Alright, so we have a nice little paste there. Alright, so now I'm going to add some milk. And guys, the full recipe will be posted on Facebook. Please make sure and look out for it. Alright, so we're gonna add the rest of that. So you can use heavy cream or we have well, like carnation milk here, which is actually really nice to use. Alright, so I'm going to add a bit of this Chatox garlic sauce to that. Alright, so probably two teaspoons of that. Alright, so we have our paste here. Alright, and a little bit of nutmeg essence. Alright, to that I'm just going to add some more milk. So we're going to start thinning out our sauce. So we want our sauce nice and creamy. Alright. Alright, so now I'm going to add my cheese. So I'm using some of our local cheese as well as some Parmesan. Alright, so I have some Parmesan I'm adding to that. I'm adding some mozzarella as well. Alright, so we're going to let everything just melt together. So cheesy and creamy. 
All right, so in total, I'm really going to be using, um, let's say, about two and a half cups of milk. So nice and cheesy and creamy. All right, so cheese is already a bit salty, so we don't actually need to to add too much sauce. I'm going in with some fresh basil, some ground parmesan or shredded parmesan, some dried basil, some of this Chattax chili powder, just a pinch of this Chattax paprika as well. And I'm just going to add a little bit of water to this. Right. So I'm just going to stir this all together. This, guys, this sauce looks amazing. It smells amazing. I mean, we could have dumped everything into the pot and stuff like that, but I just wanted to show it to you step by step. So to finish this off, I'm just going to add a little bit more butter and that's going to be it. Ooh, this looks amazing. It smells amazing as well. Now guys, there are two ways you can actually serve this. Now we can add the chicken to the sauce or we can actually serve the chicken on the top. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my pasta to the sauce and we're going to toss that up. All right, so I'm just going to turn the heat off because this is super ready. Mm, tastes amazing. You guys need to try this. This recipe is super easy and it tastes amazing. Guys, do not forget to WhatsApp us at 393-ACTN. Yeah, so 393-ACTN. Try the recipes, give us your feedback. So I'm just stirring it up a bit more to get some of these lumps out. So we have a nice, smooth, Ooh, look at that. Look at that, guys. You need to taste it. All right. Let me give it a taste. Ooh. Yummy. All right, so I'm just going to leave this to sit for a minute and I'm going to prep my noodles or my pasta. Okay guys, so I've added my extra two tablespoons of butter and then I'm going to toss my pasta up with this lovely, lovely, creamy, cheesy Alfredo sauce. Alright, so this is hot. Look at that sauce guys, look at that. All right, let me get all of that cheesy goodness out of this pot. We're not wasting any sauce today. Guys, another meal that is so easy to prepare and very cost effective as well. All right, so we're gonna toss this all up together. Look at that. Ooh. Okay, guys, this is so good. Mm-hmm. 
simply delicious. All right, so stay tuned for our tasting test. So guys, voila! So it looks amazing, it smells amazing, and here it smells like an Italian restaurant. Alright, so now for the moment of truth. So guys, um, as you can see, I topped some of the pasta with the chicken, and then I incorporated the chicken in some as well. So I'm going to have this one here that I incorporated the chicken in. And as you can see, I paired it with some homemade garlic bread. I'm trying to get some of my greens into this. So I'm having some fresh basil with it. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is perfect. Creamy, yummy, cheesy, and very flavorful. Just perfect. Lovely. Okay guys, so we have come to the end of this episode of Stacy's Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed what I made today. Please try the recipes and WhatsApp us at 393-ACTN. And don't forget to check out every Monday, 6.30 p.m. on ACTN The Voice for new and exciting episodes of Stacy's Kitchen. I want to see you there. Arrivederci.